In this video, I'm gonna show you how I created a custom Agent Force widget for Experience Cloud and Lightning Record pages using Agent Force Invocable Actions. Agent Force Invocable Actions are a new capability that allows developers to invoke both employee facing and customer facing Agent Force agents using Apex and Flows. Use Invocable Actions to call an agent to complete background or event driven tasks from anywhere you can call a Flow or Apex class. And unlike the REST agent API, invocable actions work with both employee facing and customer facing agents. Now that we know when to use invocable actions, let's get started building. To begin, you'll need to activate an agent force agent. This can be an employee facing agent like agent force default or a customer facing agent like the agent force service agent. Let's build an agent force service class with a method for invoking an agent force agent from Apex. The method will take in a agent force API name, user message, and optionally a session ID. To invoke the agent in Apex, you'll need to get its API name, which you can get by navigating to Salesforce setup, going to agents and clicking on the agent. There, you'll see the agent's API name. In your Apex method, create an invocable action. Pass generate AI response and your agent's API name as arguments. Next, add your invocation parameters. These are the contextual bits of information that you're sending to the agent. At the very least, pass the user's message as well as optionally a session ID. The session ID is an identifier for the conversation that's generated on the first message. You'll need the session ID for long running conversations like our chat widget. Finally, you'll invoke the agent with your parameters, parse the response, and return the agent's reply and session ID. To invoke our agent from a Lightning Web component, we'll import our method for invoking our agent and use it inside of our handle message function. We are going to pass along the agent API, the user's message, and the session ID, which we get and set in our first message to the agent. And just like that, we've built a completely custom UI for our agent force agent using Apex. We can use this in record pages as well as in Experience Cloud. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you want more content like this, please subscribe to our channel on YouTube. See you in the next one.